Let's talk about the monetary rule. And let's start by defining a couple of terms where y is nominal GDP or what's also called current dollar GDP because it's measured in current dollars not adjusted for inflation. M the money supply and V the velocity of circulation of money. So that by definition the velocity of circulation of money is nominal GDP divided by the money supply. The only way that, say, a hundred billion dollars of goods and services could be bought using a money supply of 20 billion, the only way that could be true would be if velocity was equal to 5, which means to say that the average piece of money changes hands five times. If you have $20 billion worth of money, and each piece of money is used five times, then that money supply, $20 billion, is enough to buy $100 billion worth of goods and services.